What is going on? My name is Grant with the Elliott Real Estate Team. Uh, about a year ago, I did a day in the life video of what a realtor's day in the life kind of looks like when I first started. Um, doing an updated version of that today. It's been about a year. It is 4.40 in the morning right now. Not every day of the week starts like this, but a couple times of the week, I wake up and go to the gym at 5 a.m. Got a couple of people joining me uh, this morning as well. Um, but 4.40 alarm clock rings, go downstairs, make it a packet of oatmeal, get ready for the gym, some pre-workout, and then uh, head out the door and go to the gym. So I'm going to talk about my year as a real estate agent. There's going to be a link below for another video that I'm also releasing. It is what I wish I learned, what I wish I knew as a realtor. So watch that one as well if you want to. Um, but let's get the day started. All right, at the gym this morning, 5 a.m. Got a buddy joining with me. Um, again, don't do this every day. 5 a.m. on Wednesdays, Thursdays. Uh, and then if I don't go Wednesday or Thursday, I go Monday or Friday to make it up and then gym on the weekend. So um, that's usually kind of my schedule, but uh, we're going to get after this workout. I'm going to work out for about an hour uh, and then go back. This is going up. Skirt. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh -huh. Putting us in the paddock in my piece. I'm pushing P. Uh, cop new hammers for my P. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Cross Spot. Jeff for peace. Drop the data, now we platinum. Uh -huh. All right, it is 610. I uh, just finished the little over an hour workout. Um, about to drive back five minutes to my house, take a shower, put my meals in a bag, and then basically head out the door. So let's get it. All right, it is just about 630 right now. Um, usually it doesn't take me long to take a shower. Um, get dressed and then get down here to kind of prep my bag here. So I got my, my protein, creatine, put it in a shake, mix it all together. Um, got a two meals, should be having lunch out today, but just in case, pack the two meals. Got my other packet of oatmeal and yogurt I'll eat in the morning um, once I get to the office. But yeah, better pack this up and then head to the office. Whether I'm working out or not, I usually try to leave the house 6.30 to 6.45, um, get to the office somewhere around like 6.55, 7.05 kind of thing. Uh, gives me time to kind of prep for the day before everybody else comes in and the day gets going. Uh, it's something I did with, you know, when I first started as well, and I just kept up the habit of it. Um, it works out for me. I like getting in there early, so uh, kept on doing it. So let's head to the office. Billy Ray was a preacher, son, and when his daddy would visit, he'd come along. When they gather around and started talking, that's when Billy would take me walking. Out through the backyard, we go walking. Then he look into my eyes. Lord knows to my surprise, the only one who could ever reach me was the son of a preacher man. The only boy who could ever teach me was the son of a preacher man. Yes, he was. He was. Mm, yes, he was. Seven oh five. We're in the office. Things have changed a little bit since my last video. I got uh, a nice little desk back in the uh, back in the corner here instead of the cubicle. Um, so upgrade with that. Got my little to do list for today, which I mapped out Monday before I left the office. I take Tuesdays off, uh, so I'm not in office Tuesday, but I still got my phone and things doing things Tuesday. Uh, but Wednesday morning, I usually get in the office around seven respond to some emails, catch up on some things. If people want to go see homes, I print out the showing information and prepare for that. Uh, but really kind of just settle in for today before Chris gets in around 745. Uh, and then we start making calls, reach outs, and start the actual bulk of the day. Um, but for now, 
just going to catch up on some things and get ready for the day. So to talk about schedule a little bit, so Wednesday is today. Um, every Wednesday and Friday, I do client updates. I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Um, really, but the bulk of it is in the morning, starting at eight o'clock, really just calling people, prospecting, following up, writing letters, um, kind of just the bulk of like, hey, who's looking to buy or sell? How can we kind of help you? And just reaching out to as many people as possible to get business later on. We get that if we call you, you're not looking to sell or buy tomorrow, but in the future, if you are, if it's worth a follow-up, we'll keep in contact with you and uh, we'll kind of just hold your hand along the way and be there if you need us. If we're, if we're prospecting, it's kind of a numbers to game. Uh, we're kind of just waiting for that one person to be like, you know what I, I am thinking about or what's my home worth or how can you guys help me or what if I need to sell before I buy. It's, it's kind of consultation calls that we just kind of help out with and kind of figure out and solve their problems if they are wanting to sell, if they're also looking to move. But what's their concerns? Is there concerns about the market? How can we kind of help you? How can we guide you? And if it doesn't work out now, great. We'll keep in contact with you again uh, and kind of follow up with you and see how we can help you in the future and be there as a resource if you need us. Talking about the numbers, how many houses did I sell in a year's time from June 2021 to May 2022? About 11 months, I sold about 15 houses uh, buying and selling. Big shout out to Chris Elliott and the team for helping me, training me, and get the ball rolling and showing me the tricks of the trade. That comes out to a total gross volume of six million, um, which is amazing for my first year. Again, thanks to Chris and the team. Got a couple closing next week. Got a couple closing uh, later in the spring. Got one closing next year on new construction. Uh, so we're definitely keeping the business going and hopefully creating more business every day as I walk in, making these calls, making these prospects and uh, keeping the business alive. So on schedule today, I got about um, two hours of just straight calling and prospecting. Uh, and then that will turn into, hey, let me spend an hour on following up with the people that I made have talked to beforehand that are thinking about buying or selling and just kind of reaching out and seeing if there's any updates and change your timeline and that kind of thing. Uh, we have our lunch uh, with a retirement community that we are a partnership with. Uh, so we'll do that and then I'll do my client updates updating our clients. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, going around maybe around 2.30, 2.45. I'm going to start editing this video because um, I'm sure this is going to take a little while for me. So I'm going to put some videos uploaded and then edit a few um, clips and stuff for about an hour and then possibly making more call lists and making more calls and then kind of reaching out and kind of just handling returning communication and emails and uh, kind of throughout the day. But really the bulk surrounding the day is the calling, the reaching out, the sales job of real estate and gaining more business. All right, just finished about 115 dials. Took me about an hour. It's 9.15 right now. Um, gonna try a different list. This list wasn't that great because I only got in contact to about 10 people like on the phone uh, out of 115 dials. Uh, so I'm going to try something different uh, strategy wise on the next call list, but now I'm just going to return some communication, um, complete some tasks and follow up with some people that I've called before and going to reach back out and circle back to them uh, in a sense. So that's what we're doing next. That's about 915. We'll do this for another 30, 45 minutes. I totally create like a, a time lapse video of me making all these calls and reach outs, but I need my phone to make all this stuff happen. So um, that's what I'm recording on. Uh, but I'm gonna cut to a video right now that explains uh, kind of what an open house, my schedule on that, and then kind of what a showing and what I do on that. So all right, it is Sunday uh, at the open house, before the open house. Usually I do arrive about an hour or 45 minutes before the open house actually starts. Gives me time to kind of set up everything. I got uh, yeah, a few signs out there. This one's kind of a weird placement. Uh, we have another sign that says, hey, welcome, make sure you sign in, fall in love, make an offer kind of thing. Um, so we put that out front and then I do a little Facebook Live walkthrough. Uh, but right now we're kind of just chilling. We got like five minutes till the open house starts. Um, so really kind of just setting up some music, setting up the atmosphere a little bit, and hopefully people will come in, sign in, not have agents, and then I'll get their business or potentially sell myself and say, hey, 
you know, are you interviewing agents? You know, do you have somebody to represent you? Great, let's sit down, let's talk, um, and see if a neighbor just pulled up. Um, so it's, it's, it's to create business for yourself, but also promote yourself um, and let everybody know that you're kind of doing stuff on weekends as well. Um, so now we're just kind of waiting for it to start. Now on a showing, uh, so a showing is like, hey, you have clients uh, that are buying houses, they wanna see a house. Um, I usually arrive maybe five, 15 minutes early to the house that we're, we're meeting at to show the house. Um, and then I, uh, you know, unlock the door, turn on all the lights, uh, make sure it's an easy, like, hey, as soon as you get there, let's walk inside, let's, let's see what you think. Cause they're eager to get inside, so. Uh, meet them outside, you know, walk around. You're not hovering them over the shoulder. Uh, if they have any questions, you're there with all the information. You already know all the information. You maybe already contacted the agent um, ahead of time and figured out some questions, but really you're walking around, you're pinpointing anything that you see of pros, of cons, uh, and asking them questions like, you know, is there, is there anything that you would like to change about the property? What do you like? What do you not like? And kind of gauge their, um, you know how they how they like the property and if it's if it's something they want to submit an offer on then you can kind of pull up the numbers and express that and you know get get into detail about an offer and potentially what to submit and how to submit and all that kind of stuff so um that's usually kind of what a showing does but really it's it's you're walking around just checking out the house and then asking them questions to pinpoint if they really like the house and letting them talk more than you about the house and if they have any questions, you're there to answer them. So that's usually what a showing is. If it turns into an offer, then you gotta update your schedule and then be like, okay, um, you know, I was gonna do something else, but I also have to contact the agent, get an offer in for a certain amount of time. Um, so it's really, you know, it, it changes. Your schedule changes and you just gotta have to adapt. So uh, that's a showing. We're at the open house, about to start back to the office, I guess. It's about 10.30 right now, uh, just finished up, you know, the calls, the tasks. Uh, now we're following up with some of the agents that we have clients with under contract, getting them squared away for their closing next week. Um, and also gonna start on these client updates. Um, got my first lunch right here, got another lunch um, at 12 o'clock. So I eat a lot. What these client updates consist of is uh, with any kind of active buyers that we have, it's me sending a quick email saying, hey, here's some coming soon properties that haven't hit the market yet, but they're expected to. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns. If you love them, let's be first in line to check them out. Um, or if you have any questions, we can figure out if it's a yes or no, even before it gets on market. Uh, and any kind of updates in the area that they're searching for, like if, it, if a new playground, if, if a new school is popping up, um, I'll kind of let them know. Uh, those are kind of the client updates uh, for the active buyers that we're searching for. Of course, if they like anything that I send, if they see anything on Zillow or the property alerts that we're already sending them, uh, they'll hit me up. Let's go check it out. Any questions, I'll call the agent real quick, find out some details, and then we can go check it out. Uh, and any kind of updates on the clients that we have under contract, it's really just communicating back and forth with the lender, closing agent, and the listing agent, kind of finalizing all the details and figuring things out in that sense. Uh, so just doing the client updates now, uh, I got about 45 minutes to an hour before I had to go pick up food and then bring it to the community that we're having lunch with, which I won't film because I won't be weird. Uh, and then uh, back here to finish client updates and to do some other stuff. So, all right, it's about 1.30 right now, back in the office after our out of office lunch that we did. Gonna return some communication, finish our client updates and um, you know make a couple calls. And then I'll bring me into the afternoon, which I'll finish editing this video, do some business planning, um, and keep the ball rolling until the afternoon. Usually I eat through lunch and just have my second, third lunch in hand while I'm kind of doing all these things. Um, but today we had lunch out and now we're back. So exciting stuff. And we'll bring it in to the afternoon. It's about four o'clock right now. Um, I am about to watch my old coaching call. It happened a couple of days ago. I got some good information on that that I didn't get down. So I'm going to jot some of that stuff down. Um, I forgot to mention around 12 o'clock, I have a five to 15 minute call meeting with my team leader, just kind of to discuss if I have any questions about anything, updates on clients, anything worth discussing, uh, that's the time to do it. And then, um, but yeah, it's about four o'clock right now. I'm gonna watch this, take some notes. Um, 
go into the afternoon around five o'clock, just cleaning out my email, make sure I don't have anything to respond to. I got an investor guy that I have to get some information on a couple properties and send him uh, an email on that. But then that kind of brings me into the evening and then it's almost time to go home. It's 5.20 now. Uh, really the rest of my day concludes with driving home, fixing dinner, eating dinner, getting ready for bed, maybe reading, watching a show, relaxing and then in bed uh, around eight o'clock, eight to nine o'clock, um, and then to wake up again, either at 4.40 if I'm going to the gym or at 5.30 if I'm not. Um, so that is a day. It doesn't include any kind of inspections, walkthroughs, closings, uh, listing appointments, buyer appointments, those kind of things. Uh, but really the majority, the bulk of what you're doing is creating those appointments. Um, so really the nitty gritty of it is cold calling and prospecting and doing all the, the dirty work to get those appointments to get that business. Um, but better go home now. If you know anybody looking to buy or sell that needs help, needs consulting uh, free of charge, let me know. Happy to help them. Uh, my email is in the link below. Hopefully this helped out if you're thinking about getting into real estate and you're wondering what a day in life looks like. Hopefully this kind of breaks it down with you. Uh, but I'll see you on the next one.